Welcome back to another TDL DIY. Today we're going to do a, a video of how to remove uh, the stereo if you choose to uh, either work it on the car and you have to get it out of the way or if you're going to replace your uh, stereo at some point. Um, this is just a, a quick tutorial how to get the, the radio. So first step when you're dealing with any type of electronics is we're going to go and disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Battery housing, very easy. Couple, couple plastic clips. I do one side and then uh, the other side pops off pretty easy. Just like that. Um, I like to use a ratchet. Um, it's 10 millimeters and you just put it on there and that's all you have to do is just remove the negative terminal out of the way. Uh, it's always good practice when you're doing anything with electrical work. All right. So uh, got a couple tools today: flathead screwdriver, um, Phillips number two, um, plastic tool remover. Um, also, we use the ratchet with the 10 mil that we just saw. But uh, just for this part, we'll be using these three tools right here. <clears throat> so, all you have to do is uh, stick it in, pry it up. Sometimes I like using the flyhead screwdriver to get it in there. It's a little more rigid. Just make sure you don't damage anything. You just gotta pry up a little bit. It should pop out. So you got it popped. Here are those pops. Perfect. Oh, this one's not quite. There we go. Once it pops out, just get your fingers in. Just lift right up. There we go. Lifts right out. Just like that. So we're going to put it up out of the way. As you can see, there's a uh, two screws and for the radio all you have to do is just pull straight out it's a little little bit in there it takes a little bit of finesse but will come. There we go. Popped her free. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Just a couple uh, connections on the back. Push down on the little buttons and they should pop right out. And if they've never been removed before it uh, takes a little bit they're a little, a little bit more of a pain to get out, but once you've had them off once or twice, then uh, it's a little bit easier. Sometimes I like using a screwdriver; it kind of helps me out with some of these. So if you can get a screwdriver in and pry it out. Sometimes that works a lot a lot easier. <clears throat> so for this last connection all you have to do is just pull that out and then the radio is free. So that's all there is to it. Um, so if you want to put a new new deck in you can put a new deck in. Um, try to get the wire and harnesses for them. It makes the job a lot easier and it's pretty much just plug and play. You can probably get a lot of this stuff on uh, online, eBay, Amazon, that sort of thing. Just do uh, just do your research with the, the harness, and a lot of the harnesses will just plug into the factory harness, and then you'll just have to make some connections to the new uh, new radio. 
if your factory radio for some reason dies on you and uh, no longer working you can put another fact factory radio in or if you're just taking the radio out to get better access to something else then uh, that's how you do it so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this radio back in and uh, yeah everything just back in reverse go there we go seated let's put the two screws in now And uh, don't forget, this is for uh, a Mazda 3, 2010 and 2013. Forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video, but uh, that's that's the procedure you're going to do for uh, again a 2010 to 2013 Mazda 3. So don't forget to uh, connect your negative terminal back up, and then you should be all done. And there we go. And we'll just throw the glove box on and or sorry not the glove box, the the box for this on and we'll be uh, all set. There. All done. And just to show you that the radio works. So, and you can't go wrong with a little bit of country once in a while, right? Radio works perfect, job's done, it's very easy. All it is is taking off the negative terminal on your battery, making sure that no electronic components get harmed in the process. And you just pop this off real easy, pull this out with two screws, pops right out, undisconnect undis your electrical connections. It's that easy, folks. Um, again, this is for a 2010 to 2013 Mazda 3, and uh, you just put it back in reverse. If this is the if this is the if this is the radio you're going to be putting back in, or just get into whatever you need to do. Hopefully, this video helps. Um, again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, or uh, if you feel so, please subscribe. And uh, more videos will be coming down shortly. Thanks.